Hi, Ian Roberts, and welcome to Mastering Composition and Simplifying the Painting Process. Last week, I showed you some photographs of how I was thinking about cropping some images of Venice, and then I did a drawing of it, and this week, I'm going to show you the painting I did from it. And also, that I came to a realization as the painting continued, that was sort of an interesting realization, and I want to share that process with you, because you remember, perhaps, last week, I was really quite intrigued with this particular image, with the long wall along the left, but was concerned about it because the figure was right in the middle, and I figured that dark figure against the light wall would be the center of interest, and it was right in the middle. So I ended up using this one instead, which I liked. But then something happened in the painting process, which I'm going to share with you, and um, you'll see how even the best laid plans. Um, I still like the painting, but you'll see what I mean. So here in the block in, I'm laying in the light, hitting that canal, and I realized, ooh, I like that color. So now you see the whole block in, just the quick one, and you see the head holding attention and the green of the canal. And then in the second block in, there's no detail yet. I'm just pulling all the masses together so they kind of unify better. Still, the head is dark and it pulls the eye and the canal, and it's still sort of divided between the two. So the original idea was sort of this, that we're pulling the attention over here. But as it developed and I softened the head, the value of the head, and that large vertical and the triangle that was sort of coming from top to bottom in towards the light just kept pulling me back to that green shaft of light. So here's the finished painting. The head's been reduced in value. and There's just enough windows and doors to tell us that they're all there. So I wanted to share that process with you, just so you see that like, even when you plan everything carefully, things can happen and you have to make decisions and for better or for worse, you know, they work out one way or another. Um, there's a six minute demo that you can find the link to below uh, if you want to see more of that block in. I block it in, you know, the plain canvas pretty quickly because I'm pretty sure about the masses, their value and their temperature so I can get it organized pretty quickly. And from that point on, it's really just a matter of nuancing the thing to sort of bring it to life. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, please do subscribe, like the video if you did like it. You can get the video coming to your inbox if you sign up on my email list. And I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next Tuesday and bye for now.